failure. It happens to all of us, right? And we learn from it, but damn, I have completely went from being successful, having everything I wanted, living a happy life, to losing everything, to being successful again. To losing... My life is like the crypto market. It's just no balance, no stabilization. And well, I've got a lot going on right now. And to my haters, you're gonna love this video. So sit back and relax. Let's jump right into it. We all make choices in life. My choices haven't really been too good. Welcome to my channel. Probably the most bipolar, messed up, crazy mixed feeling channel you will ever watch in your entire life. But I guess it's entertainment, right? We're all trapped by social media and life. So, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, let's get into the video. How many more times do I have to screw up before I can actually do something right? Go from having everything to nothing at all. I need to learn to just grow up a little bit. Stop making the same mistake twice. So it's another fresh start for me. Driving home, moving back in with the parents, doing it all over again. A complete reset. I'm so tired. I'm so freaking tired. I'm tired of having everything good taken away from me. I'm tired of trying to achieve something and failing. I'm tired of having to reset. When will I gain my success that I deserve for all the hard work I've put in? And it's all my fault that I failed. I have let so many people down in my life. I have created this chaos in my life. A chaos that I don't know if I'm ever going to get out of because I've built this hole deeper and deeper. I've lost everything. Literally everything. Back to square one. Last time I was like this, I was 18 years old. I didn't really have any aspirations. Didn't know what I was going to do. You all seen my homeless video. Now I'm back. Back to being homeless. Back to uh, forgetting what I did all this for. And now... It's time to do it all over again. A complete 100% reset. But y'all have heard that before. Y'all have heard this time and time again. You've all seen me fail time and time again. Some of y'all probably just get off on it. Some of y'all are, are, are saddened by it. I'm not really amounting to nothing. Like I am scum just a worthless piece of shit I feel like you're taught to work hard to be successful you know be able to have family buy a house I've put in the hard work but I've lost so much doing it struggling because of the choices I've made and I can't seem to stop making the same mistake twice like, when, Lord, when am I going to grow up and do better? Maybe this is a wake-up call. I really would love to tell you all that things are going to change for me. That things are going to get better. That I'm going to be successful. That I'm going to do something to great. You know, be a productive member of society. Be valuable. But... I don't know if that's going to be true or not. I don't know what's going to happen to me. I don't know where I'm going to go from here. I'm going to try. That's all I can do. I have my ideas, you know, and they seem great. It's just I need to catch the break. I need to catch the time, the motivation. You know, I need something that'll help me just 
do it and complete my goals to success. You wanna know who I am? You wanna know the real me? I am a egotistical crazy person. I get ideas and plans and before I complete them, I, I talk about them saying how this, this, and this is gonna have like, I get, I get overexcited. And then when I fail, I let everybody down myself. I am terrible with my money. I got terrible credit. I am lazy. I am filthy. I am a hard worker, 100%. I will work my ass off for you. But I don't know when to keep my mouth shut. I post too much stuff on social media when I shouldn't. I say things that I shouldn't. And I always choose the wrong path when it comes to money, when it comes to living, when it comes to career. I have potential to do something great, but my mind, my mental health, my just personality, I guess, just prevents me from doing so. I have made the mistakes, so many mistakes, too many to count. And you would think that I would do better and grow from those, right? But no, I'll just go around doing the same mistakes again. Albuquerque will always be in my heart. I never thought I would ever say that. I hated this state before. I used to hate New Mexico. And the adventures I've had here towing, the job, like, just, just another chapter of my life, you know, stories to tell. And I'm going to get back into towing um, when I get back to Arizona. I definitely want to do it again because this was an adventure. I may have lost a home, may have lost a woman may have lost literally <laughs> lost my license and no I didn't lose it like lawful wise I uh it fell out of my wallet somewhere you know I don't really have an identity now <sighs> lost uh my birth certificate thanks to the ex throwing it out <laughs> all my fault everything you know and now, when I go back to Arizona, I've got to start from the ground up. Get myself in order. Get that positive attitude. Y'all remember a while back when I had that mental episode in the semi, you know, and I said I wasn't going to live, like, through the year 2021. Like, I'm not, I wasn't going to live, like, something bad was going to happen. I was right. I was right. You want to know why? My soul, a piece of me has died inside. Something inside me has died. I don't know what it is, but I don't feel. Emotion, happiness, sadness. I am just like numb to everything right now. Kind of in shock, really. And anytime I find that, that little piece of happiness, just a little, just a little piece, just, just to keep me going, it gets taken away and I've, I've been let down and I've, I've been let down so much that, that at this point, I just don't care what happens to me. And I, I, I don't want to say I want to give up. Because I really do want to give up. But I can't. I really can't. So. 
there you guys have it. There's me. And Arizona is a safe home for me. It's a safe place. As long as I have my family. I do have ideas. I do have plans. And I do talk about them on YouTube. I do talk about them on TikTok. Because by me, it, it, like sharing that stuff, it, get, it keeps me motivated. It, it makes me want to do it more. And it, it helps me not give up. And if some of you viewers out there can just, just believe in me, you know, like, give me time. I will fix myself. I will do better because I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I just, I have it in me. I have it in me to do what, do what I need to do. I just need somebody to believe in me, please. So what's next for me? Where do I go from here? What am I going to do? Well, a few options are available. One, get back in towing, work for somebody, live paycheck to paycheck, just live life. Number two, revise my business plan, which I'm going to share here in a minute, what I had before everything happened, um, and try to open up the supply store I want to open up. Or, where I'm moving, there's not one laundromat. Not one laundromat. There. And uh, I think it'd be a good adventure to try to start one up. Um, I got actual help for this project. Uh, some people that, uh, that actually will help me start it up. So, there's an idea. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not going to guarantee nothing because every time I do, shit happens. So... That's a dream, you know, but you could create a, a great business plan for that because the market's there, no competition. It just, it, it, it it's, it's too easy not to fail. It's just really expensive. So, um, the other idea I had was, uh, start my own web development company. Um, Kingman, now mind you, the laundromat's not Kingman, like it would be going Golden Valley. But anyway, Kingman though, which is near Golden Valley has... A lot of small businesses, it's grown rapidly because it's right next to California. Um, and I was checking out some of the websites around there and they're trash <laughs> or they don't have a website at all. They're not even like marketed right. Uh, I feel like I could do really well in marketing and web development. So maybe start my own web development and marketing company. Um, get in while, while the city's growing. I feel like I, I would do great in that. And it's easy startup costs, cheap, and I have experience. So there's another option. And then, of course, getting Think Rome line back up. Um, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. You know, so my ex has all the inventory. I have the website. I have the tax lien. Like, I have everything in my name, really. But she has the inventory. So I'd have to, like, restart. And, and i tell you right now, guys, getting the inventory and filling all that stuff, it's expensive. Shirts are expensive. Believe it or not. Hoodies are expensive. You know, but... We'll see what happens. Right now, Think Rome Line is, is temporarily closed until until I figure that out. Those are goals. Those are dreams. Those are what I want to do. I just can't give up on myself. You know, I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me. You know, and don't be a dick either and laugh at me. Just uh, understand that I am who I am. I make dumb choices. I post on YouTube because it helps me just breathe for a minute, kind of talk. But uh, I, I might be a failure, but it's not permanent. You know, I'm a nice guy. I have a good heart. I'm too nice. I've let a lot of people walk over me. I've let a lot of people take advantage, you know. But I have a lot of growing up to do. And I plan on doing it. Just stay tuned for future videos, future vlogs. Just follow me on my trip. Follow me on my journey. Have hope. Believe in me. Or don't. Continue to watch and fail. Either way, hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. On to the next adventure.